Hey guys, Kevin here. Today, I'm going to show you my version of a famous French dessert called chocolate malakoff. What it is, is a fortress of cookies surrounding a chocolate and almond flavored mousse. It's totally delicious, especially after you pipe whipped cream on top. Okay, first things first, take a cutout round of wax paper and put it in the bottom of a two quart Charlotte mold. You can buy a Charlotte mold on Amazon for very little. Uh, this one is made in France. And set this aside and then measure out three quarters of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and add to the chips one quarter cup of strong hot coffee. And then put a little lid or a plate on top of that bowl and set this aside to let the chocolate melt. Then with a song in your heart, pour two thirds cup of water into a pie plate and add one third cup of orange liqueur. And I'm using Grand Marnier. You could use Cointreau or some other orange liqueur. And then we need our cookies. And traditionally, a chocolate malakoff is made with ladyfingers, but my supermarket doesn't sell ladyfinger cookies, so I bought something called marguerite cookies. Let me show you the package. Marguerite cookies are made by the Stella Doro Company here in the United States. And we're going to dip the cookies into the orange liqueur mixture and drain them on a wire rack. And what you do is just put, oh, three or four cookies in the orange liqueur solution and just get them wet. Do one side and then flip them over. You want them to be wet, but uh, not so saturated that they disintegrate. And then place them on the wire rack to drain. And I'm going to finish off all of my cookies and I'll come right back. And here are the cookies. There were 24 in the package and we are going to use all of them. To build the fortress for the mousse, arrange the cookies in the Charlotte mold in an upright fashion. And marguerites have a rounded side and a flat side. And you want to put the flat side against the wall of the Charlotte mold. And I have exactly 18 cookies in here. So then we can move on to the mousse. I'm going to make most of my mousse right in my food processor. And what we start with is about a cup of slivered almonds. In they go. And then add one cup of super fine sugar. Super fine sugar is called caster sugar in England and probably other places in Europe. And you could, should be able to buy it right at your supermarket. And then put the lid on. We're going to grind this to a fine powder. So cover your ears. Let's check this out. Grab a spoon. And this is what you want, a fine powder. Then take two sticks of thoroughly softened butter and throw those into the food processor. And make sure to get all of the butter in there. And then give it another little whirl until the mixture turns pale and fluffy. Let's have a look. Well, 
Can you see? Looks pale and fluffy to me. Now we have to take our chocolate that has been melting in the hot coffee and we're going to give it a little stir with a whisk or a fork. There it is. And we're going to dump this in. Yum. We're also going to add one third cup of our orange liqueur, which again for me is Grand Marnier. And finally, a teaspoon of almond extract. That was exactly one teaspoon. Back with the lid. And we're going to process this, oh, just for a minute. Now, if you're if it looks like any of the mixture is sticking to the sides of the food processor bowl, just take a spatula and push everything down. And then process again, just for, at this point, maybe 30 seconds. This looks wonderful. As a matter of fact, you could eat this all by itself without any cookies. So then let me grab a large bowl because we're going to transfer this mixture to a bowl. Trying to work fast here without making too big of a mess. And that looks good. Next up, we have to whip some cream to add to this beautiful mixture. I have two cups of heavy cream in my stand mixer. You could use handheld beaters for this, by the way. And I'm going to beat this just to the soft peak stage. So I'll be back. Now here's the heavy cream that I beat just to the soft peak stage. So now we're going to add this cream to the chocolate almond orange coffee mixture. And we're going to turn that mixture into a mouse. I mean a mousse. And to do that, you simply fold the cream into the chocolate almond mixture. And you try not to deflate the cream too much, although it will deflate a little. Okay, this looks just right. So now we need our fortress of cookies. I hope everything is in focus. I hope you can see. I'm doing my best and I'm going to put this spatula away and fetch a large spoon because we need to scoop about a third of the mousse and put it into the Charlotte mold. And then if you didn't eat your excess cookies, you want to lay two cookies on top of the mousse like so. Then add another third of the mousse. Oh, is this going to be a gorgeous dessert? I make this a few times a year. It's a great company dessert. Everybody always oohs and ahs when I bring it to the table. And then add another third or so of the mousse. And you could add, well, I think I've already reached the top, so I have two cookies remaining. And as you can imagine, I'm not going to let them go to, go to waste. I'm going to eat them when you're not looking. 
and then spread the mousse all the way to the edge of the pan. And if you have any mousse left over, well, just put it in a dessert goblet and enjoy it. Again, the mousse is delicious, even without any cookies at all. And now, we have to put a sheet of wax paper on top of this. And a plate. Where's my plate? Here it is. Using a blue and white spode because, well, I'd like to use the best for you. And then we have to weigh this down and you could use any kind of weight you happen to have. I'm using a can of diced tomatoes. And then this goes into the refrigerator for about six hours or even overnight. We just want the mousse to set up. So I'll come back when mine is nicely chilled. It's time to unmold the dessert. Off goes the wax paper. And then we set a plate on top, invert, say a few Hail Marys, wrap the pan five times. Sorry about all the noise. Drum the top and hope for the best. Voila! Chocolate Malakoff. Take the wax paper off the top. And then, I think we should gild this lily. Now, you don't have to decorate your chocolate Malakoff at all, but if you want, you could pipe some stiffly beaten whipped cream over the top, as I am doing here. And then, since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I'm going to tuck some little Hershey's Kisses into the cream. And there we go. Taste test. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is heaven. Well, I hope you will Give this magnificent creature a try. As you've just seen, it's not at all difficult to make, but boy, is it heavy. Also, I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a little dis uh, subscription box over here somewhere. And I will see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.